Paul, Spain had recently rid themselves of the Moors in the late 15th century. They saw how Moorish armies conquered their homeland and controlled it for centuries. Moorish armies with Amazigh leadership, most of which, having many soldiers or military contingents reinforced by Africans from further south in West Africa. The Spanish apparently never forgot that and sought out the use of the black arm, if you will, via enslavement or service. The first possible indication that people of African descent would be actively involved with the Spanish conquest of the Americas was the participation of Alonzo Petro, the pilot of the Nino on the 1492 voyage of Christopher Columbus. Some accounts say that Alonzo Petro was actually a mulatto. Aside from that, the most popular black conquistador is probably Juan Garrido, as he participated in the conquest of Puerto Rico and Cuba, but most of us don't know the truth. The reason we know Juan Garrido is largely because he was just exceptional. He survived all the conquest and he wrote a letter pretty much asking to reap the benefits of his military career. So the larger question is, who are these black conquistadors and how did they come to be? Contrary to popular belief, in the early conquest of the Americas by the Spanish, Africans accompanied them every step of the way. According to Matthew Restall, black men played a pivotal role in the conquest and pacification of the Americas. Wherever Spaniards set foot in the Americas as members of conquest companies, they were accompanied by black conquest.